and uh, the Lotus boys look on with uh, some concern. And Connor even remembers to put the steering wheel back in place. There's a professional for you. Wow. Lucky, lucky boy. Lucky that we can laugh about it. Stocking a leads from Da Costa under the safety car. Apt is third, Evans is fourth, Fuminelli is fifth, Chacon sixth, Vigno is seventh, and Alinas is eighth. The other positions in this race. Kishbal is ninth, Vizo Yu is tenth, and it's Saranovic eleventh and Cregan twelfth. Vicky Perea is up into 13th place. John Wartik is 14th. Spavone is 15th. Then it's Niederhauser and Lane. Mercado and Ringel. Plasterka and Sakurai Carmen Jorda is 22nd. And uh, trying to re-secure the barriers. Look at the damage that's been made to those barriers there. To be honest, I don't know if we'll be able to get this race back underway because those uprights, those poles uh, needed for that catch fencing uh, have been utterly uh, bent out of shape by the ferocity and the force of uh, that accident involving the ART, Lotus ART of Connor Daly. And uh, they need to be structurally sound in order for the race to, to get back underway. I can't see how they can do that. I don't see how they can, unless they can replace the poles, but that's going to take some time. It's not just about the mesh fencing. Those poles have been seriously compromised. And if somebody was to have a crash in the same place with those poles bent as they are, not as, therefore, the, the, the top level of the fencing, not as high as it should be, as Connor Daly walks in, uh, then t there sh must surely be some questions as to whether this race will get restarted. Saranovic is still in this race, in 11th place. We haven't seen any notification that the incident will be investigated, but I think it should be. Daily, there he is. It is great to see that he's all right. Particularly with an accident like that, where you come down on the rear of the car, ever so easy for a driver's uh, spine to become hurt. But good to see that he's walking, uh, seemingly without pain. Four laps remain here. We are still under safety car, and the race has now been red flagged. And uh, I thought it would be, to be completely honest with you, because uh, those poles on the rundown would not have been uh, replaced because there's no chance. So uh, the guys just taking some advice on uh, Connor Daly's position but uh, status can celebrate because Marlon Stockinger has won today's race from Antonio Felix da Costa yes the race was red flagged after that incident but up to the point of the accident Stockinger had done everything right not just done everything right but had put up with so much pressure from Antonio Felix da Costa as we look at Saranovic and questions I believe should be asked of the driving by Saranovic on the exit of the tunnel. Two distinct moves. Looked like they were made. And here in Monaco, here of all places. That kind of uh, double move just uh, should not be tolerated. But Stockinger it is, race winner. Antonio Felix da Costa comes home second. Apt will be recorded as third. Mitch Evans will take fourth place. Fuminelli in fifth. Chacon sixth. Vigno seventh. Elinas eighth. And in the points. 
Kish Bal just outside the points in ninth. Viso, you tenth. But for stocking up, it's another fabulous result. It's his second visit to the podium. Last time was the very first race of the season. And uh, they brought Stockinger into the pits for some reason, rather than allowing him to run down the circuit to the start finish line where he should be lining up. I guess because the race has been red flagged and didn't run to its full conclusion. I was saying the last time he visited the podium was in the first race of the year and it was for second position. Today, though, it's for a win and a richly deserved one. So he'll drive to the end of the pit lane and they'll allow him to do so. He'll just bring it to a halt. And then they're saying, get out, chat, because you've got to go to the podium. I think some of them are maybe looking at him and saying, what are you doing in the pit lane? You should be on the start finish straight. There he is, our race winner, Marlon Stockinger. Punches the air and is already being congratulated. Woo! He's got to get to the other side of the fence, as has Antonio Felix da Costa. Da Costa maybe will have felt that if the race could have run for a few more laps, he might have been able to have a, have a go at Marlon, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a happy man. There is a happy man. Great to see those emotions here with a win in Monaco and not an easy win. Not an easy win at all. Soaking up all the pressure from pole position. Not making a mistake from pole. Leading away, soaking up the pressure from to Felix da Costa. Drove absolutely beautifully. Really, really great race. Great stuff. And uh, Antonio Felix da Costa, oh, he looks a little disappointed. But uh, it is finally uh, for da Costa, finally a podium. Finally making good on all of that promise from the opening few races. And there's Teddy Yip, uh, team boss at Status. And you can see how much it means to them. That's absolutely massive. Wonderful, wonderful stuff here in Monaco. Apt on the podium as well. So it's, uh, I believe we've had now, have we had a, a Lotus on every podium? I think we have. Yeah, Vigno was on the podium in the first race. Daly obviously won the second race. Vigno won the race yesterday. And Apt is third today. So we've had a Lotus on every single podium so far this year. <laughs> but today, it's not a Lotus in first place. It's the status GP car of Marlon Stockinger. A huge smile and massive joy. Antonio Felix da Costa, I'm sure this is not the first time, uh, sorry, not the last time, I should say, we're going to see him on the podium this year. It is the first time we've seen him on the podium this year. A huge talent and uh, has shown us his potential. I think a measure of uh, just how much he wants to compete this year, how much he wants and feels that he should be uh, leading. But he looks a little bit disappointed with the result, but uh, Daniel Apt on the podium in third for another great day for Lotus, but an even better day for Marlon Stockinger.
Huge emotions all round. A win anywhere is special, but in Monaco, it is extra special. And uh, status, Grand Prix and Marlon Stockinger can uh, revel in that tonight here in Monaco with the Formula One Grand Prix taking place tomorrow, GP3. As with its sister series, GP2 is now done for the weekend in Monaco. The boys and girls of the championship can go out and celebrate in some style, and we're better to celebrate. Where else to go and have a party than here in Monaco, be it in a bar, be it in a club, be it on a boat. But the celebrations will begin right here, right now, with the traditional champagne spraying on the start, finish straight. As the team gets chased Teddy Yip gets covered in champagne that's one party I want to go to tonight fabulous results at the end of a great race great to see that everybody involved in those accidents uh, appears to be okay obviously the accidents of Connor Daly was the one that brought out the red flag and brought a premature end to this race but it was a race won in some star by this man Marlon Stockinger for his first ever GP3 series race for now though uh, the final classified results see Stockinger confirmed on that top time 121 minutes 37 seconds point six seven three De Costa second apt third then Evans and Fuminelli check Khan and Vigno Elinas completing the point scorers Kishbal ninth and uh, Vizo Yu in tenth then Saranovic Cregan Perea uh, good results for uh, Cregan and Perea their best of the season uh, Saranovic was involved in that accident with Connor Daly. Then it was Wartik, Spavone, Niederhauser, Lane, Wakado, Ringel, Klasterka, Sakurai, Jorda, Powell, ultimately classified down in 23rd after the uh, contact that she took on the first lap in that incident with Brundle and Buller down at turn one. Only three drivers not classified, but ultimately it was the uh, exit of Daly that caused the race to be red flagged. Daniel App then putting up with race long pressure from Mitch Evans. Soaking it all up beautifully to take his first podium of the year. Antonio Felix da Costa, well, had the bit between his teeth, didn't he? Pushed like there was no tomorrow. Did everything he could to get around Marlon Stockinger. But ultimately, ultimately, it was the status Grand Prix driver's day. Not to be denied, soaked up the pressure and drove the perfect race. Well done to him, well done to Status, and well done to GP3 for a first weekend here in Monaco that will be remembered for some time. For us, though, that's it. The end of our weekend, and what a great weekend it's been. Aro Vigno winning yesterday, Marlon Stockinger winning today. Now a short break as Formula One goes to Canada. But we will be back, sure enough, in Valencia. Until then, though, from all of us here, in Monaco, a very warm goodbye.